Today I'm losing. So the motor went unscrew. Um, so I gotta get this part. This was Hell's Bells to get this one. Now I'm trying on this one. I'm trying with my giant cheater bar. I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up. Uh, see if I can get it hot and then see if it'll break loose. And get that pump out of there. Uh, <laughs> you can't win every time. Come on. You guys know that. First thing we want to do is get make sure this stays locked out. I don't have my lock, so I'm going to use a tie wrap. Okay, I'm going to start by taking out the wiring. The rotation on this pump is this way. It's three phase, so you can reverse the rotation by changing any two leads. We'll reverse the rotation of your motor. You've never worked on a 2A230 or 480 volts. This is 480 volts. The wiring schematic is is the same, universal. So it's one, two, and three for lines. So here we go. We got our lines coming in. We can mark these. Try and get the rotation right. So let's see, what do we got here? Should have a number. That looks like number one. So we'll put a one on there. Get this one out. And this one. There we go. back off while we're sitting there. Get them out of the way. Okay. Now we'll get our fitting out. Let's 
set that aside. All right, I'm gonna take some spray. Spray up our bolts. Shouldn't have to take, shouldn't have to take the bracket off. If these all cooperate. These four cooperate, we shouldn't have to take the bracket off. All right. So I'm gonna start by taking off the bottom bolts of this bracket because this pump has to pull out. So the bracket's gonna have to come off with it too. I got my wrench underneath here. Let's see how we're making out. Oh, finger bang. Yeah. All right, we got her down to a finger. Finger shebanger. It's a nice little star nut. Built-in star washer on that one. Put that right there. Let's see if we can get this one in the back. This is going to be a little more tricky. Tricky dicky. Ugh. Conduit. This conduit right here goes right next to the nut on the bottom. I want it to go this way to come off. Let's see if I can break it free from underneath. Oh, I see it moving. There, yeah, got it. I got it to snap loose. That's a win. go okay almost ready for a banger That's the two off of the mounting plate right there. I'm gonna get the one on the other side first. It seems harder to get to, harder to reach at. Yep, we'll go see if we can fit ratchet wrench in there. See you. Oh, not too much. Not too much leverage there. Let's see if we can get the old Rachito going. Oh, I heard I heard it break free. That's a win. Not too much a stroke on that one, where it's at. I'm not sure how long my extension is, let's see. Do that one and the, and the long one. Let's see if we'll get a little more reach. 
That might be a little better. There we go. Look at that one broke off. Mm -mm -mm. See, that's what can happen on this stuff. Very, very common. This is old, old rusty nuts. That one came out. Old rusty nut of Titus. All right. All right, let's see if we can get her out of there. There's no holes. Usually on like uh, in boiler pumps and stuff, you'll have slots for jacking bolts that you screw back in and then it pushes it off of the volute to separate it. This is more like a swimming pool style pump. It doesn't have that. Ah, the little heat had the torch out. Got you, sucker. Heat always wins. Dude, that thing was on there like a son of a... Son of a you-know-what. All right, getting a win. Holy moly. The funny thing is, I've been doing this all day long at the day job, changing out steam traps. And the unions are just stuck like glue, just like these. So they got nicer pipe wrenches at the day job. They're all aluminum. NorCal's got crappy iron pipe wrenches. All right, so I used, I found this pipe inside. I used that for a cheater bar with some heat and some spray and I was able to get the unions loose. I got them all, the faces on both sides re-cleaned up. I just need it. Uh, inch and a half short nipple and an inch and a quarter short nipple for the new pump. We got a new pump coming. I didn't want to reuse those nipples just because look at the rust. So I got two new nipples. I'm okay with the unions. And uh, <laughs> dude, that was a battle. And that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes it's a battle out there. Especially when you got crusty old stuff. So, Battlestar Galactica. It was a loss, but it wasn't a total loss. And in the end, it's going to be a win. So, still good there.